Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just got ready to go out because today is November 15th and my sales associate at Chanel told me that today they are getting the new collection, the Chanel Cruise. So I'm gonna go check it out and see what they have. I just wore the Skims bodysuit and then my favorite jacket from Casablanca that you can't see. <laughs> and then my frame leather leggings. I do have a couple items that I have been eyeing on since like the runway, when was this? Like May? And you know, it has been some time since the runway show and I feel like all I've been seeing on social media, especially Instagram, um, in the past like two weeks or so has been the Chanel Cruise. So I feel like I know every single item on this collection and I just heard so many different things. So I don't even know if my boutique is going to have everything that I want. I also don't know how everything's going to look in person. Like there were so many items that were kind of on my wish list that have fallen off the wish list ever since I was able to see like some new pictures and some things were just like a little bit different from what I had expected or my taste just changed so I don't know like I really don't know what to expect but I will try to film as much as possible show you guys Hey guys, I started getting ready because I'm gonna go do some holiday shopping. So I'm almost done with my makeup, but I forgot to make my coffee today. So I wanna show you guys this coffee that I've been loving. It is so perfect for those like really busy mornings like right now, like when I just like completely forgot because I'm the type to do like the whole shebang. I have an espresso machine. I also have a coffee grinder. So doing the whole thing is kind of like my everyday morning ritual. I like to grind my coffee beans myself and then actually extract the espresso for my lattes, cappuccino and all that stuff. But it does take about like 20 to 30 minutes to heat up my espresso machine and I have to like grind my coffee. I have to weigh my coffee beans, grind it and then like do the whole thing, like froth my milk. Although I do enjoy that ritual some days i just don't have it especially if i have to like work i have to like take the dog out like all the stuff and this company reached out to me and it has been the biggest lifesaver ever because it's this like tiny bottle but a concentrate so all you need to do is you know pour water into it pour milk into it it's kind of like that concentrated espresso like always ready to go in your fridge and i really hate buying coffee out i only buy starbucks holiday drink because that's the only like coffee i like during the holidays and other than that like throughout the entire year i make my own coffee but today because i'm gonna be like shopping i think i'm gonna go get a latte as well and then once i have my coffee i want to show you guys what i picked up from the chanel cruise collection because i'm pretty sure the last clip that you saw was me like going to chanel to check out the new collection and it has been some time <laughs> since that day i have some thoughts about the whole collection and about the pieces that i was able to like see in person so let's do that over coffee just in a second okay this is the coffee i was talking to you guys about this is the coffee concentrate from javi let me see how many servings the serving size is only one teaspoon so if you use one teaspoon every time you're gonna get coffee 35 times out of this small little jar so what i like to do right now i'm kind of in a rush so i'm just going to make a black coffee i already have my water boiling on the side and i have my measuring spoon out so let's do this it's so fun it's like a little syrup almost yeah, you see that? It's kind of thick consistency. So you just pour that in. Oh, I already smell it. It smells so good. I just like to eyeball it because it's black coffee. I can just kind of tell how strong it's going to be just by the color of the coffee. This looks about right. Maybe I poured a little too much. 
I'll show you guys. You can see, right? Look how easy that was. It also comes with this recipe book. So you can not only make coffee, but also desserts like affogato. I saw that. Yeah, see, you can also make affogato because you definitely need espresso. But now I don't have to wait 30 minutes to heat up my espresso machine to make affogato at home. And also another thing, you can make either hot or cold coffee with this. You only need a little bit and a lot of hot water anyway. So it stays really, really hot. So this is basically what I made today, just hot. Oh, and in terms of the taste, it has a lot of nutty and caramelly notes, which are like my two favorite things when it comes to coffee. I really don't like when coffee has any kind of like sourness or tartness, and this doesn't have any of that, which is why it's a huge bonus for me. And if you guys want to check it out yourself, I will leave my 20% off discount code in the description box below so you guys can try it out for yourself. Okay, now let's talk about Chanel. So the only thing I actually went home with was a simple bodysuit. I mean, it's technically a swimsuit and I have worn this already in LA and it was actually kind of like a lifesaver because I didn't realize how hot it was gonna be I mean not that I sweat a lot to begin with but it was really really hot especially when I was filming like that Erwan haul bit in the balcony it was so hot but because I was wearing a bodysuit like it definitely helped I was so happy that it was just pretty much everything that I was looking for. I think sometimes I can get caught up on that excitement and like hype around like a new runway show and I get so excited for like all these like upcoming pieces. But then you usually have to wait around like six months, right? To actually be able to purchase anything in store. And I had so much on my wish list, but then towards the actual launch date i started seeing additional photos not those like vogue pictures but like the ones from actual shoppers or like first access kind of like vip clients so when i started to see more pictures about like these pieces i was a little bit like meh about it like i wasn't as excited as i was back in may and then i started to kind of trim the fat in my wish list also where i live isn't like the biggest city ever so there is like a limited inventory that we get so there is a difference in like which boutique or which market as in like which country like gets what kind of like inventory since the runway i was set on that silver metallic bag and then like time goes by and then i realized that it's not really exactly the shape that i want little charm that came with it i was going to take it off anyways because that was just not my thing but then i started to see more pictures and like the shape was really not what i had in mind it was very much like a cutesy little like rounded bag and i was just not a fan of that so even though my boutique did receive one of those bags especially in that silver color which was like my number one wish list sadly maybe or like luckily i'm not sure like i have no regrets about it but i did reject it i did say no to it i probably would have gotten it because of all the hype and excitement but because I had time to think about it, like really think about it because these pieces are really, really pricey now. I'm honestly not sad about it. I haven't like thought about that bag. So that just shows that it was just not meant for me. And I hope whoever got that, you know, bag is super happy. So yeah, going into that boutique that day, I was like set on ready to wear pieces. In general, like the boutique wasn't really ready. All the crew's pieces were kind of like in the back. They weren't really on display yet, minus like all those shoes. The ready to wear pieces that I I wanted were either not available yet or if they were it was very very limited it was only available to like those vvip clients which is definitely not me and because these are very pricey items i wanted something that was wearable something i can always like reach for and that wasn't so statementy that i was only gonna wear like once in a lifetime kind of thing like i'm spending way too much money to be doing that so i mainly focused on tops and to be honest like they just felt so like Ugh, I hated the quality. There was one halter top that I tried on. There was zero logo. There was like maybe one button here. All the tops that had some kind of logo that was like rather subtle, like maybe like on the sleeve or here, it just didn't feel that nice, guys. This shirt feels a lot better than that, you know? I was really disappointed by like the quality and like I just couldn't justify spending that kind of money on that kind of quality. I keep calling it a bodysuit, but it's actually a swimsuit, which is like even more perfect. It really just has everything. This is such a classic cut, so I can wear this as a swimsuit, but I think for now, I'm just gonna wear it more as a bodysuit and it has the little CC 
right here and the cut is like low back it is very very flattering like the straps are very thin it just makes you look really good like i love the fit of this because it's so classic and timeless the fact that it's black means i can literally wear it like so many times and also you can tell that it has some kind of sheen right so to me it kind of looks like coated jeans you know like those jeans that are black but that kind of looks like leather pants because of that coatedness it made me think of that so i'm really happy i at least got something from this collection and technically i did get something else i did get a bag but it wasn't part of the crew so i might show that to you guys some other time i also tried on these loafers you guys know these have been really really popular and for the cruise collection they have a purple one and i love that purple it's such a fun like bubble gummy like purple but i'm not sure if this is something that we do get in the states or in my boutique at least so i'm still kind of waiting on it but in the meantime they did have that in black and i loved how it was like all black so it was much more low-key and it wasn't like so like chanel like on my shoes but when i tried it on oh my god i was so like unsure i just didn't get those like butterflies and like that certainty that's why i didn't get them and i'm so glad i didn't because i don't think i would have really loved them there was something in the leather like it just felt oh so cheap like i hate saying it but like I couldn't justify that money like I never get that feeling when I try on Gucci loafers um, Hermes shoes I never get that feeling from the leather itself and that leather was so hard so dull like I didn't like it so I was really sad about that and then they also had these really really massive like so like when was this like 2010 i want to say you know those really big extra extra large bags like chanel flat bags that you use to be able to put it over your carry-on like the handles do you guys remember those so they are kind of bringing it back i think so they had this black one and then this pink one which is kind of similar to the barbie bag that i have but it was like a slightly off shade the price point was amazing for like the size that it was i think it was like eight thousand. that's what they said again like the quality like oh it just didn't feel nice like all those like quilting was already flat there has to be a reason why it's only eight thousand, right i mean yes it's like a lot slouchier and softer in general and i think it was just a single flap yeah but yeah it's such a fun bag i really really liked it but i don't know i wasn't really feeling it and i saw some pictures afterwards i think this was europe for sure they had this in like a silver one. <sighs> See, I would have gotten that, you know, not the black one. So yeah, different markets once again. So yeah, that was my experience around the cruise collection. Those were my thoughts. I'm still really, really glad that I was able to get this because it is not you know like an easy item to get in this size as well. And it's also black. They either have this or like a really, really metallic deep gold which i would have never gotten to be honest and i really wanted something versatile like a very wearable top and this is really just so perfect so i'm happy i was able to get this and all the other pieces that i wasn't able to get or i didn't get i think everything just like works out you know in the end so either way i'm okay and now i gotta change and go do some holiday shopping Really, you're like shining so bright. <laughs> we ordered our holiday drinks from Starbucks. The drinks are coming. The drinks are coming. Charlie? She wagging? No. No. <laughs> Not today. Thank you. The drink is actually good. It's really it has good. a lot. Of, yeah, it's really, a drinkable really even for me. Drink. Like kind of cherry. I didn't even take any charcoal. Okay, I mean you're not drinking that much. It's like one glass. That's gin and tonic. You have no idea how strong this <laughs> drink is I, I, for me, at least. Last time I was here with Sarah, I was so drunk I started drinking her drink. <laughs> I didn't even realize. 
<laughs> and then like on my third sip i was like wait did i just drink your drink and she was like uh yeah <laughs> you've been <laughs> there's something in my you know this bag is amazing you feel like there's something in your eye let me check i see her hair in my eyeball i think they're getting ready for dinner yeah right <laughs> I think we came at a perfect time, like right after lunch, yeah. right before dinner. Three is always like the best time. This is my favorite. I can eat like six of these. You can, you can have two of them. Maybe, yeah. I see her in the back. Oh, I'm so full, you guys. So full. We had like a late lunch slash early dinner i guess their gin and tonic is like the best thing ever so it's rosemary and grapefruit and then blueberries i think like dried blueberries I used to put a little orchid in there too but over the years i guess they had to cut that margin too i don't know they stopped giving it guess what this is i have the barbara sturm advent calendar for this year by the time this video goes up it's going to be december so i feel like that gives me an excuse to open this mm -hmm. okay <gasps> so this is the bottom and then this whole thing opens up like this this is the catalog of everything that's in here i think there's 24 products number one <gasps> It feels so small. <laughs> I think this is like a cream. Ooh, super anti-aging. Oh, cleansing cream. Okay. I love how everything's like so travel friendly. And number two. Okay, this is kind of hard to take out. What is this? Really, you think it's food, huh? Come here. Number two. Oh my God, it's so teeny tiny. This is a lip balm. Okay, let's do one more. I want something big, like like a full size, you know? Okay, these are so hard to take out. Hyaluronic serum made, oh, hyaluronic serum. Wow, this would be so good to like travel with. Last year, we got that um, anti-pollution drops. I had that with me like at all times in like Tokyo. Mm -hmm.